Okay, so once you've opened a new project, which um, you can see that this has opened a new project, you need to ensure that the plugin for Cesium has actually been downloaded. So if you head to settings and click plugins, I already have Cesium download, uh, the plugin connected. But if you didn't, you can just search Cesium for Unreal and then you've enabled it and you've connected the two. So now you can see that there are there's a Cesium tab up here next to the Place Actors tab and then you also have the Cesium Ion assets down here, which this is what we're going to be looking at. We're also going to look at the Melbourne photogrammetry like we did with the web-based application. Also, um, if you do need to install the plugin, you will have to restart Unreal Engine for the for it to update for you to see the plugin within the settings and the tabs to appear. So I have a new project open. I want to open up the sources panel and find Cesium for Unreal. I want to add a cesium sun sky, if I drop that in. I also want to add a dynamic horn here. From here we need to add the photogrammetry dataset that we have um, downloaded in the, our My Assets from Cesium Ion, the web-based application. If you don't see this here, if you click on the Cesium tab, you can click Add and you can add, this will update the refresh the assets, assets list from Cesium Ion, but you do need to go out into that web browser to download that set before it will be seen in here. So we're going to add to level. Now this is the biggest tip. If you press F, F, that will center the data set within the viewport. This is very important or else you will be scrolling and panning around a world scene that will end up turning black and you end up losing your way. So it's really important to remember that function to focus the 3D tile set for the photogrammetry within the viewport. You can see that the tile set is sitting upside down and that's because when you open up a project the coordinates are set to Denver um, so with that being on the opposite side of the globe naturally it will um, think that Melbourne is sitting upside down so all we need to do to fix that is to click on the cesium geo reference place the geo reference origin here so we have our photogrammetry after we've focused the tile set within our viewport, we've set the origin to that, to this, we've set the origin point to Melbourne. Now what we have to do is the date and time zone is still set in Denver, the default setting um, within Unreal Engine. So. To change this, like we had to change the geo reference, we want to select the cesium sun sky and then you'll have the option under the date and time and here's the tab here. So Melbourne is 10. You can see that this has got the golden hour. You can change, you have the opportunity to change the light here, so the middle of the day is 12, we want, so this is in the fourth month, six in the morning is dark,
and you can easily just toggle and slide this here. And with the months, obviously winter in the middle of the year, you're getting those longer shadows earlier. I'm going to keep it for a golden hour. The sunrise. So you can get some pretty incredible shots. You can set up the light and then all you need to do is export. You can export high definition depending on your computer's capabilities. I like having a little bit of a sun flare. Great. Now to export the image, I've just, after I've placed my camera, you can drop it down from this arrow, high resolution screenshot, and then it's saved. And that's the outcome.